Hey guys, so this is VFX Pro and I haven't uploaded to tutorial in 4 days, but the wait is over. We are going to learn how to take out a camera inside a mirror. Now, there are two things. There's the cheapest way and fastest way, and then there's the compositing way or masking that way. Now, this effect is used in a lot of movies where one actor or multiple actors are inside like the bathroom or something like that with a mirror and the camera is invisible. And of course they achieve it very, very well and stuff like that. Now, first of all, I have a comp open here with me portraying that mirror ripple effect, but my camera is set down on this dryer we have, and the computer lid is just a little bit up. So if you have a camera on a tripod, which I suggest you do, then all you have to do is just position your camera until you can't see it in the mirror. So before you can start filming, you just look at the mirror and say, okay, my camera's not there and then do a two, few test runs and stuff like that until you do the final composite. And of course this is the fastest way. You see here I don't have to edit anything unless I want to color, it, color correct or denoise some footage. Now the, this way involves some compositing which uses mask tools and also in this way we are using two different videos. So let me press command D and title this type just for, exam for an example unclick the mask and bring it underneath. So let me solo this one. This is our first play, okay? Where the actor is portraying himself and the camera is visibly shown. Okay guys? Hang on a sec. Just wanna Okay anyways, so then you have your other layer, which is um, the background layer. So you see here that where the camera is, it's on the bed, and then there's a wall and stuff like that. And of course, the mirror is perfect because we can easily make a mask around these lines of the mirror. So this is your second video clip. Basically, what I did is I took my computer and I put it around here, so I matched it up where the computer was originally was, and I just took a video of the background and then froze it, you know, because we don't really need to, so it's not shaking and stuff like that. So, let me unsolo everything else. Let me delete this. So, the bed mask. Basically, you just create a mask tool around the bed area to cover it up. And of course, we want the wall too, but we'll do that in a second. Now, if your actor is moving, all you have to do is do a few mask tools and you see here, this one is 6 pixels on the feather, and this one's 2. So just make it around 2 to 6 pixels. Not too much, or you'll get this, and it's very fake the more you do it. So just leave it at 6 pixels. And of course, you always have to keyframe it, like I said, if your actor is moving. And of course, in the final composite, it's not going to really show anything. Maybe there'll be a few hints in there of the reflection being on there. But you can see here that the bed is portraying there, and the mirror is like this and we have kept the effect and you're really focusing on the actor especially if you have other effects going on so then this is the second mask where you have your wall basically I scaled it up by a lot and then just adjusted the mask to my liking put it on top here feathered it out so that these two are together and of course if you want to press command shift C to pre-composite and title this no camera that is okay you can pre-compose it and everything is still there. So that is the fastest way, I mean th not the fastest, but that is the way where you can make your camera invisible, you know, and this actually turned out really well as you zoom in here for a little bit, you see here that, you know, the bed is perfectly aligned, there is no harsh edges around here, and your actor is doing everything. I mean, you can even color correct stuff like that, even if you want to pre-compose with your actor you just type in actor with no reflection. Everything still works. So pre-composing stuff is very, very good. It's always zoom, stuff like that. So if you guys like more tutorials like this, comment down below. If you want to hit that like button, please do. Always make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. And if you go ahead and check out above here, around here, you'll see another video on 
that will show basically I will be talking about when I'll upload videos specific date and of course you know VFX Wednesday stuff like that so just go ahead and check out that video and you'll know when VFX Pro uploads his videos daily okay and again just click the subscribe button in the big middle right here and love you guys